Good morning children. Thought for the day. Do good for others. It will come back in unexpected ways. Okay. So, let's do good to someone around us and reap the benefits of this doing good. We can all do some good to somebody in some or the other way at our own level. So, let us think of doing it and let us do it. By now, we have studied static electricity. Okay. So, static electricity, we have studied what it is, what electric charge is. When the positive and negative charge on an object are balanced, the object is neutral. There is no negative charge on the object. And if these charges are not balanced, the object is said to be charged. Okay, we have studied about repulsion and attraction due to static electricity. And what is the origin of an electric charge? All the substances we know are made up of particles and these particles are ultimately made up of very tiny atoms. And atoms, they have got positively charged protons, negatively charged electrons and neutral neutrons. Now, let us move further and try this. You can do this at home. Place a straw on a bottle. Take another straw near it. Observe what happens. Leave the straw on the bottle as it is. Rub the other straw against a woolen cloth and take it near the straw on the bottle. Observe what happens. Now take two straws and rub them. So initially you had taken one. Now you take two straws and rub them against the woolen cloth at the same time. Keep one of the straws on the bottle and take other near it. See what happens. Keep the rubbed straw on the bottle as it is. Take the woolen cloth on which it was rubbed close to it. Now based on this you have to record your observations. In the observation table given in the textbook. What you observe is electrically charged objects attract uncharged objects. There is repulsion between like electric charges. There is attraction between unlike electric charges. Hence repulsion is used as a test for identifying electrically charged object. Observe and discuss. Take thermocol balls or mustard seeds in a bottle and shake the bottle vigorously. The seeds try to move away from each other but stick to the bottle. Why does this happen? Of course, either the thermocol balls or seeds when they are uh, continuously, uh, vigorously shaken, they rub against each other. So they develop the charge on their surface and they are attracted to the charge on the surface of the glass bottle. And hence they stick to it. In the next activity, you have to rub a plastic comb against paper. Touch this comb with another uncharged comb. Take the other comb near some pieces of paper and observe what happens. You see that the bits of paper, they are attracted towards the comb. In the second activity, you have to rub a comb or a balloon on your hair as shown in the picture. Take the comb near a thin trickle of water from the tap. See what happens. Now, draw the comb away from the trickle and observe what happens. As you can see in the picture, what happens is that the flowing water trickle tries to change its flow. Okay, it is due to the static electricity. At first, the flow of water is not charged. When a negatively charged comb comes near the flowing water, the negative particle in its nearest comb are pushed away. That part becomes positively charged due to a deficiency of negative charge. The comb has negative and the water has positive charge. Due to the attraction between these opposite charges, the flowing water is attracted towards the comb. When the comb is taken away, the negative particles in the flowing water come back to their original position and positive and negative charges become equal in number. As a result, the water becomes uncharged again and stops getting attracted to the comb.
Why does a charge balloon stick to a wall? The charge balloon when taken near the ball, there is induction. On the portion of the wall where the balloon is held, opposite electric charges develop. The attraction between charges on the balloon and the wall sticking of the balloon and the wall cause sticking of the balloon to a wall and hence the balloon sticks to a wall. Try this. Keep a spent tube light in a dark space. Rub it vigorously with a thin polythene black bag. What happened and why? Okay. So, you have to try this activity on your own. Next. When an uncharged aluminium ball is brought near a negatively charged balloon, the following things happen. As you can see in the figure A, an opposite charge is generated in the other object by induction and both the objects get attracted to each other. As shown in figure B, on touching both the objects become similarly charged. And as you can see in figure C, the light charges, they repel each other. 